Hi guys, I'm in the subway now, but today I'm going to give you a few tips on how I stay safe in the subway. And then I'm going to take you to a unique Korean barbecue fine dine penthouse experience. Let me just show you um, uh, the people who are waiting in the subway. See, there's really not a lot of people. I'm sure you can hear that. that uh, screaming. There's someone shouting. Well, Upon entering the subway today, I could sense that someone was acting weird and I was quite close to him. So I move away from him and I'm not going to pretend that nothing is happening. Timidity invites violence. So I stayed away from him and move right away to the waiting area in the subway away from him and for me that's my best course of action to stay safe okay look at this post here it's this this one is too near the platform of the subway this is the platform that's very near the subway there's a yellow line here i don't stay there as much as possible, I stay behind this post or right behind this wall. But if you really want to find this, then stay behind, behind this. Behind. Not there. That's too near. You're giving people an easy pass to push you easily. So now that my train is coming, I slowly move to the train and let the passengers get out first before I get in. I'm now inside the subway, but I remain vigilant, looking at, you know, other people without staring at anyone because it's very rude to stare at anyone. Let me repeat that. Please do not stare at anyone, especially when you're in the subway because it's very rude and some people get into a fight because of that. A few things when I'm walking in New York, I don't wear a hoodie because I want to see everything. I don't wear a headphone because I want to hear everything. I want to stay alert the moment something happens. Delayed reaction will just cause injuries and it's not really gonna help. While walking, I also keep my hands free. I don't put my hands inside my pocket so that just in case of emergency, I will be able to use my hands to protect my head or any part of my body in case I have to, in case of emergency. I also stay away from isolated areas like for instance, like elevators or alleys where I know I could get trapped by someone very easily. I don't want to put myself in a situation like that. And whenever I feel that someone is making me feel uncomfortable because they are weird in some way or another, I will react. As I mentioned, if you are timid, you're going to be an easy target because you are not reacting and you feel that person is going to go away. They're not going away. You need to move away. I just got out. Even before pandemic, I've always been told not to stay in that yellow line because accidents can happen and there are a lot of people with mental illness. I mean, and more so during this time that there are a lot of recent events on subway pushing, it will be best for you or for anyone to stay behind this wall and wait until your train is about to arrive at the platform and then wait for the other people to get out first before you get inside. Now, about pepper spray. I'm not a security expert who can give you advice on that. 
I'm only sharing how I stay safe in the subway, but it makes if it makes you feel safe to carry one, then that's up to you. But I feel unless you are ready to squeeze that pepper spray at anyone while you're riding the subway, people will definitely stay away from you uh, because they think you're crazy. Then when you get attacked, it's most likely too late to use your pepper spray. I'm not comfortable now, so recording. I have to stop recording. I have to focus. Don't want to sound like, hey, New York is such a dangerous place because it's not. I'm simply saying that anywhere in the world, specifically in New York, we need to be cognizant of our surroundings. That's all. Someone is going to meet you at the lobby and she will take you to the elevator until the th 39th floor. And this is Kaunuri. You can see that as you enter, you're gonna see a very classy bar. And I like it because the bar is quiet and for sure, it's a place where you can talk while waiting for your friends. I like the bar. Um, you can have a drink if you're waiting for your friends. And it has a very cozy Hi. feeling. We have a reservation under... Oh, I like our table! Oh, I like our table! We are here to celebrate a friend's birthday. And we wanted to make sure that this is extra special. And we were so surprised that we got a corner table and when I take this opportunity to show you the spectacular views of Manhattan we are in awe of this beautiful place I'm in the mood already okay let's start cocktail of the week that's what I want and She's going to have Bordeaux and she's going to have red wine also. Okay, let's start ordering. So we're going to have um, the marinated galbi. We're also going to have the stew. We're going to have, yeah, it looks like we're going to have a lot of things. Um, the prime ribeye. We're also going to have the tuna, tartar, and the braised pork belly. Yes. Oh, we also want the um, spicy uh, stir-fried octopus. Yeah, we, we want to have that for our appetizer. Yeah, and, and we also want the one that you recommended, the, the best two here is the one that's spiciest the spicy kimchi and pork so here we have the tuna tartar and here's a spicy stir fried octopus with bean sauce on the side you can mix it up if you like this one you can just share with the thing I'm gonna get Oh, this tuna tartar is so fresh and melts in your mouth. It's delicious. I may think the blue fin tuna blended with the red pepper paste just perfectly. Zoo, this is so good. So good. Now we have the stir-fried octopus with bean sprouts with onions, carrots, and squash. I think the octopus with the bean sprout was just a perfect combination. I, 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 I really like it. Well, because we ordered a lot, I'm trying to pace myself. 
but it's nice to rest and you know look at these views and uh, as we always say it's okay to rest but don't quit <laughs> Cheers for you guys. Oh, I'm already red. Basil, tequila, and margarita. We haven't started, but I'm already tipsy. This is making me tipsy. The margarita is so strong that I have to eat more. Mm -hmm. And I like this. I like the bean sprouts with a octopus. I had to add more ice. It's so strong. Oops. Fur, curry, fur. Right? You call it banchan, right? Yeah. The appetizers, yeah, that's that they the Oh, uh, did you oh, yeah, make sure it comes with the you guys got the kimchi stew too, right? Yeah. Gotcha. I'll make sure it comes together, okay? How do you guys like your meat cooked? Medium, medium, right? That's what? That, is that the galbi? This is the marinated. This is the prime rib eye. This is the galbi. Oh, that's the prime rib eye. This is the galbi. Of and course. This is the that's the rib eye, guys. Yeah. That is the stew. Oh, that's the one that you recommended, yes. right? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll grab your bowls and I'll just give you guys. Some. Thank you so much. It's really nice. He re recommended this. This is the spiciest kimchi and pork stew. Uh, it, it comes with pork and tofu. If you have been to Gaonuri, just comment below on what your experience was and how did you like the place? What dish did you like? Let us know in the comment below. spicy as possible. Look at those panoramic views while we're seated, having uh, I like to kind of eat it with the rice and also it goes well with the meat. It's like a palate cleanser. Like yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Guys, if you've been to Gaonuri in New York, please do comment below and let us know how your experience was and what dishes did you like. What I really like about this place is they cook the galbi, the ribeye, they cook right in front of you but the tables are all so spaced out so I don't feel like I smell like beef after just like my experience in other Korean restaurants and you know having dinner with great views you know these panoramic views it's definitely the best part of eating here I mean really I've, I've not eaten in any Korean restaurant with these views or in a penthouse. This is an upscale Korean barbecue location. No other Korean barbecue in Korean town that I know with this spectacular views while you know you're you're eating galbi. I mean I I never knew that I needed to see the skyline while I'm eating kabi, but it's really part of what you're paying for. They are now serving the kimchi lobster fried rice. This kimchi lobster fried rice is just so packed full of flavor. Some may not like the lobster kimchi rice to go with the egg but i i like it i haven't finished my galbi so i have to start working on the galbi 
Mugabe is tender and tasty. But there's no seasoning on the gabi, but it's still flavorful. Mm. This uh, kimchi, I, I like the blend between the sweet and spicy, and it's more of sweet than spicy, and I don't taste a lot of salt. And that's one thing I, I like about kimchi is I don't like salty uh, kimchi. This one is perfect blend, sweet and spicy. Mm. That's Good. the galbi. Okay, guys, I have to start working on my um, galbi because we still have the braised pork belly. It's good. It's tender. Okay, now there's, he's starting to cook the braised pork belly. I think the galbi is perfectly cooked. And I think the braised pork belly will also be cooked to perfection. While um, he is cooking the braised pork belly, um, I think uh, the banchan could probably be more varied um, since we ordered a lot I was really expecting that we have bigger portions of what they gave us and more variety of banchan try to um, hmm. I think it's I think it's good it's just that I, I, I really like my meat to be packed full of seasoning and spices so I think that's really what's missing but it's I mean overall the galbi and the braised pork belly they're both good there's this calming power when you see the glorious vivid colors of sunset see the Manhattan city views you take one bite it's it's relaxing it i mean you just will never run out of very good restaurants and this place i was surprised when i asked them how long they've been in business and they said 10 years i mean like in terms of fine dine korean penthouse with spectacular manhattan views and it gets better look at that it's almost what i think it's almost like seven o'clock i think it's also a perfect place for a romantic date and if you want to propose want to wait for you know, sunset? Oh, that would be so romantic. Oh, this is so sweet. They gave our friend complimentary birthday macaroons. Wow. So nice of them. We're really happy that our friend is happy that she celebrated her birthday here. And we got a corner table. The food's great service is excellent the views are spectacular so we're gonna be back here for sure thank you guys for watching to watch my other videos please go to connie loves nyc and then click play all and if you haven't subscribed Please do like and subscribe so you can get notified of my next adventure.